Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is the main criteria used to group viruses are structure, chemical composition and what are the characteristics. We have to choose from these um, five answers. Uh, answer A, type of capsid and this is uh, important characteristic. For example, take a look at these uh, two different viruses. Actually, the virus here on the left we call um, bacteria phage because it infects only bacteria, prokaryotes, and the virus here on the right infects uh, eukaryotes. And uh, actually, uh, this uh, family of uh, bacteriophages also diverse. It's not necessary that all bacteriophages would look. Uh, the same like this one. Uh, some of them uh, may also resemble a uh, virus on the right that infects uh, eukaryotic cells. So uh, not type of the capsid uh, would define how we are going to group uh, viruses. Uh, answer B, overall uh, size and um, viruses can differ greatly in size. The smallest can be more than 10 times smaller than uh, the largest one and uh, vice versa. So answer C, uh, array of host cell in which the virus multiplies also is not very reliable source of information. For example, uh, two uh, viruses that cause liver damage, uh, hepatitis A and hepatitis B are totally two different viruses, those damaging the same uh, organ liver and have uh, similar symptoms, but one virus uh, has uh, nucleic acid that is DNA based and another one has uh, the one that is RNA based. So uh, answer C uh, we cannot uh, use as reliable uh, variant of the uh, grouping viruses and now we left with answer D and E. Uh, answer D similarities in genetic makeup and answer E presence and type of envelope. And uh, as you know some of the viruses have uh, envelope. They acquire envelope when they uh, exit cell and actually uh, this envelope is a part of the outer cell membrane. Sometimes uh, also this can be a double lipid layer of the internal cell organelles that is present in and this membrane uh, helps uh, to avoid uh, recognition by the immune system of the organ. Uh, so some of the viruses may have envelope and some may not have envelope. Usually those that infect eukaryotic cells may have it and those that infect uh, bacteria and plant cells which have cell wall uh, don't have uh, this envelope. But uh, once again there are always uh, different variants possible so this is also not very reliable method how we can group viruses and uh, answer D similarities in genetic makeup actually would be the most reliable method to group viruses just like we group people in families for example if we have a couple that have children we understand that uh, children of this couple would have 50% of the genetic makeup of each parent so brother and sister also would have 50% of the genetic makeup and a person who is not uh, related to this family will not have the same genetic makeup. So uh, this is very reliable method how we can group uh, viruses also based on the similarities of the genetic makeup. So as you see the correct answer is answer D. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. Share this video with your classmates and see you in the next video. Goodbye.